Good evening. I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Christy McDonald. The district's sinking budget topped the agenda, but that was really only the beginning. Ex-Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick may get a new address behind bars. The government could decide to move him as his federal case works through the courts. One of the biggest holiday weekends of the summer is finally here. That means plenty of people will be heading out with family and friends to celebrate our nation's independence. Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us this Friday night. I'm Christy McDonald. We do have tragic news at the start of this weekend. One person is dead. Several others injured after two boats collided early this morning on Lake St. Clair. Action News reporter Anu Prakash has the very latest on the investigation. All right, on to Sparty Watch here. MSU's Tom Izzo says he still has not made a decision on whether he's going to take a job with the Cavaliers. And we're still wringing our hands. Sports Director Don Shane joins us. Flags across Michigan will fly at half staff tomorrow to honor a fallen hero. Marine Corporal Jacob H. Turbot of Canton was killed in Afghanistan last month. A funeral for the 21 year old was held in Canton last month, but he will receive a military burial Tuesday at Arlington National Cemetery. There is new information tonight on the Christmas Day attempt to blow up Flight 253 over Detroit. An international terrorism expert says Flight 253 would likely have landed safely, even if the explosive device fully detonated. It is wonderful out here. There are thousands of people lining the streets right now. The weather is perfect. Everyone is in the holiday spirit. And Channel 7 is so proud to be broadcasting this great event. It just gets better every year. This year's parade, we're going to be celebrating the 12 days of Christmas. It's perfect out here. And you know, Dave, I know that you live in Rochester and you are the honorary mayor of Rochester, is what I like to call you. But this really is just such a wonderful parade. It just shows family and tradition and festivity. Well, and when you have sunshine like we have today, <laughs> uh, it just makes for a glorious setting. We are wrapping up the weekend and really we could not ask for a better stretch of weather. It's been absolutely gorgeous out there. Here's meteorologist Sean Ash with the first look at our forecast. Hey, Sean. Do you have an opinion about Michigan's roads? I'm sure a couple thoughts come to mind. Well, the Michigan Department of Transportation is seeking public comment on its five-year plan for projects. All right, here you go under the ew kind of gross file. The Holiday Inn is offering a little something extra before you turn in at night, a bed warming service, a human bed warming service. If you'd like your bed toasty warm before you jump in, a hotel employee will be more than happy to dress up in a fleece sleeper and warm up the sheets before you get there. The Holiday Inn is offering this service at three hotels in Britain, giving it a trial run, saying, you know, a warm bed would help people sleep better, though knowing a stranger was just sleeping in my bed, it's not really a relaxing feeling at all. <clears throat> Tom, I, I don't even know what to say. Christy, that's officially under the gross category. <laughs> <laughs> Christy, what can you tell us to update us? Absolutely, Stephen. Van Dyke in Seven Mile. Chief Williams is joining us right now. We thought at least 12 homes. Now, Chief, you say that number is growing. Approximately 20 homes from the area of Hollywood, Robinwood, Quinn, and uh, Hilldale from Van Dyke East to Beach. Thanks so much, Chief Williams, for joining us. You heard him now believe about 20 homes on fire spread in a several block area, also spreading about two, three blocks east from here. We are on Van Dyke, just south of Seven Mile. The Salvation Army has rolled up here. They have water that they're giving to the firefighters on the scene and also food. Also, the Red Cross, we're being told, is on its way as well to help anyone who might be displaced from the fires. We have talked to people around here who said many of the homes were vacant, but there were some homes that were occupied. No one was hurt at this point in time, but again, the crews are here fighting these flames. That's the very latest. Reporting live, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. Action News reporter Christy McDonald is live at Castec High School with the very latest for us. Got to be a sad day there. Christy? You know, Carolyn, Robbie, I have to be honest with you. These are some of the most difficult stories to cover, the death of a child. I spent some time with the Lombard family this afternoon. They are in shock, and all they could really talk about was the wonderful young woman that Ariel Lombard was. Ariel Lombard loved Cast Tech. As a senior, she was in the Pep Club, the National Honor Society, student government, ready to graduate this year, but instead died suddenly, passing out on the stairs at the school she loved. Today was definitely a shock and just unexpected. Her stunned family and friends gathered on Detroit's east side this afternoon, looking at her awards and pictures. Her aunt, Katrina Stokes, is still in disbelief that Ariel is gone. She went to church on Sunday. She sent me a text message and said, can I use the car to go to church? And I said, sure. It was just after 8 this morning that Ariel fainted in the third floor stairwell. Staff and students ran to help her. EMS rushed her to Detroit Receiving Hospital, but she was pronounced dead. Any health problems that would have led her to pass out like this? 
The past few years, they've been trying to rule out um, because she had been having some spells, but they never was able to find out. Her father took her to several specialists, and they kept saying that she was fine. Seniors at Cast Tech gathered together, taking in the news that Ariel was gone, happening right in the stairways they walk every day. I think everyone should just keep our family in their prayers. And Ariel's family will take the prayers. I believe in God, and I know God makes no mistakes. And while she was on earth, she led a wonderful life. Um, this is a tragedy, but we have a young lady who has a legacy. This is proof of it, that her life was definitely worth it. There will be grief counselors here at Cast Tech High School. Next weekend is the homecoming dance, and the Lombard family told me that Ariel already had her dress. They're hoping now to go back to that store, exchange it for something that they're going to be able to bury her in. She leaves behind a mom and a dad, three younger brothers. There will be an autopsy performed to see exactly what happened. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. Robbie, back to you. Chanting fans, a celebrity chef, and conies. It's a block party on Lafayette in front of Detroit's landmark Coney Islands, trying to settle the age-old war of who's the best. When you come to Detroit, you got to get yourself a Lafayette Coney Island. Why is uh, American the best? It's just so much better. The Coney sauce. Today, Food Network is shooting a new show called Food Feud, and the episode stars Lafayette and American Coney Islands and Detroit's Coney Dog. Lafayette! Fans of both hammed it up for the cameras, cheered for their favorites. Mine's best. Mine's the best. The war is on. The host of the show, roast owner and iron chef Michael Simon. What is it about the Coney? I, you know what? But to me, like when I came to Detroit, there were three things people talked about: Red Wings, mm -hmm. cars, yes, and Coney's. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So first thing I did is I came across the street. I had one of each, and you know, I love them both. Mm -hmm. I love them both, and I, I love that any city is so passionate about one type of food. So it's awesome. On the set, producer Mark Summers, also a Food Network star. He says coming to Detroit for Food Feud is a no-brainer. Here's the cool thing. Nobody loses. People will come to Detroit to try them both, so ultimately the people need to decide. So we're here basically have a lot of fun. I came all the way from Pinckney to have a Coney today. They make the best Coney Islands <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> so who wins the big battle? I can't tell you. You have to watch Food Network to find out. From downtown, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News.